Hi, my name is Greg Alexander and I'm an account manager at Morago and in this video I'll be introducing you to publisher feed controls. To access the feed controls area, from your dashboard select accounts and then publishers. Select the publisher you wish to manage uh, from the main table. Once you're in the publisher account, choose account settings and then feed control. Feed controls allow system administrators to filter request and click traffic, which can help to control traffic quality. You'll see the controls are split into four main sections. These are search filters, click filters, JS ads filters, and customizations. The filters themselves are quite self-explanatory, but you can refer to the full system guide for full explanations of them if you so wish. The controls available for each filter are default, on or off. Feed controls are available to set both at network level and publisher level. If a setting is not made here, the system will query the network setting. If the network setting is default, the setting is deemed as off. If a setting is made here at publisher level, network settings will be overridden. Any control set here will apply to all advertisers and provider feeds. To change one of the filters, simply select on or off like this. You do not need to submit these choices as they're automatically saved for you. Any values relating to timings must be entered in seconds. For example, if a search to click interval is required of say 5 minutes, then you would need to enter 300 seconds. So, just enter 300, there you go, and that should be now saved. So moving down a bit further, let's discuss the customization table. Customizations enable you to register feed controls for a specific advertiser, campaign, provider, provider feed, or sub-publisher. To insert a new customization, select the Add New Customization button. If you're registering specific controls for an advertiser, search for your required account by typing the name in the box. So matching options will show. Any account campaigns will be auto-populated once the advertiser has then been selected. The same option is available for providers or feeds within the providers. You can decide whether the customization is to be applied to all networks or a specific network. Leave this as all networks if you do not wish to make a selection. The associate field will already be completed with the name of the publisher you're managing, but you've got the option to drill this down further by sub-associate or site if required. Once those details are set, you then manage the filters that you wish to be applied. Once you've finished, select the Submit button and your new entry will appear in the table at the bottom. These customizations can be edited or removed if required at a later date. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to get in touch with someone at Morago and an account manager will be very happy to help you.